discuss the different types of front wheel independent suspensions. We know that independent suspension can be defined as a suspension arrangement in which no rigid beam axle is used and both wheels are separately connected to the carriage unit. Now independent suspension used for front wheels is known as front wheel independent suspension. Whereas the independent suspension used for rear wheels is known as rear wheel independent suspension. Now front wheel independent suspension is mainly of five types. Double wishbone type, Macpherson strut type, vertical guide type, training link type and swinging half axle type. Let us discuss each in brief. Double wishbone type suspension. A typical double wishbone type suspension can be shown as it consists of two suspension or control arms for each wheel called the upper wishbone arm and lower wishbone arm. These arms are named wishbone because they take the shape of letter V or chicken wishbone. The open ends of both control arms are pivoted to the chassis frame. Whereas the close ends are connected to the stub axle with the help of a connecting arm and kingpin. The coil spring with the shock absorber is placed in between the lower wishbone and the frame member. Now when the wheel hits a bump, the control arms move up, thus compressing the coil spring. Since the shock absorber is also fitted with the spring, it damps the vibrations set up in the coil spring. The V-shape of the control arm helps in many ways. It keeps the wheels in correct position. It transmits the sprung weight to the spring. It resists the acceleration, braking or cornering forces. Also, the upper control arm is kept shorter in length than the lower control arm. This is done to keep the wheel track constant while cornering, thereby providing less tire scrub. Macpherson Strut Type Suspension A typical Macpherson Strut Type Suspension can be shown as It consists of a single lower wishbone arm, which is hinged to the chassis of the automobile. The other end of this wishbone arm is attached to the strut through a joint. The strut containing the shock absorber and the spring is connected to the stub axle which carries the wheel. The upper end of this strut is fixed to the body structure through a flexible mounting. Due to this, a stronger body is required to absorb the full suspension load. Therefore, frameless chassis construction is preferred for this suspension. Here, the steering motion of the wheel is provided through the lower control arm. Macpherson strut suspension has many advantages, such as it is very easy and cheap in construction and requires very less maintenance. It is lighter and simpler than double wishbone suspension, thus keeping the unsprung weight lower. It requires very less space and so is very useful in front wheel driven automobiles where more room is required in the engine compartment. The vertical guide type suspension. A vertical guide type suspension can be shown as it consists of an extended cross member to which the kingpin of the stub axle is attached at one end. The coil spring and the shock absorber are attached on this stub axle. The other end of the kingpin is fixed to an upper spacing bar. According to the up and down motion of the wheel, the kingpin is also allowed to move up and down, thus compressing or elongating the spring. The major disadvantage of this type of suspension is decreased stability of the automobile. Trailing link type suspension. A typical trailing link type suspension can be shown as In this suspension, a horizontal torsion spring with shock absorber is attached to a trailing linkage, which is attached to the shaft that carries the wheel hub. The other end of the coil spring is attached to the frame side member. Now when the wheel moves up or down, it winds or unwinds the spring respectively. In some automobiles, torsion bar is also used in place of coil springs. The major disadvantage of this suspension is that the distance between the front and rear wheels during springing changes. Also it requires very much space. Swinging half axle type suspension. A typical swinging half axle type suspension can be shown as in this suspension both wheels are mounted rigidly on the half axles which are pivoted on their ends to the chassis member at the center of the vehicle. The spring with the shock absorber is mounted on this half axle. Now when one wheel of the automobile experiences a rod shock, the axle with that wheel swings up or down without affecting the other wheel. 
The major disadvantage of this suspension is that due to up and down movement the wheel doesn't remain perpendicular to road. Also during cornering the outer wheel with higher load tilts outwards thus losing traction. Note that out of above five suspensions double wishbone and Mac Ferson strut suspension are most commonly used. Now let us summarize the front wheel independent suspension as